Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney and money. It's another daily dose of Dismal Disney. They're, they're synonymous anymore, money yeah. and Disney. They are. Disney, uh, Dismal Disney seems to be synonymous too, but that's another story. Yeah, so we're going to talk about Disney uh, touching, touching Bill Nye's money. Touching money from people who uh, sign deals. You just with want them. to say Disney touching things, and the reason is because we're going to talk about their new "A Touch of Disney." Touch of Disney. It's a bad touch. Anyway, let's. Um, the bad touch of well, Disney. Well, it's not. It, it's it's just one of those Disney deals that you have to laugh about. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah. This what happened was uh, I think a lot of people are probably familiar with this. Was there was a lawsuit because. Um, Bill Nye wanted more money from Disney streaming mm. his his shows and stuff, and um, they it went to trial, went to court, and the judge sided with Disney. But his argument for Bill Nye was that he made this agreement with them for the eighty percent that they got eighty percent back, like in like ninety three. Yeah. So we're talking like twenty eight years ago, and and it was for home video release. Now back then you have to understand that they had DVD and they well they didn't have DVD in they this had the VHS, VHS. Yeah. oh gosh I'm so old they had VHS and it cost you know there was money involved in making sure that you had the VHS tapes made that it went to the stores that it was distributed and all that so they took eighty percent because they had all the costs well now they're trying to argue that it's the same thing as streaming even though streaming is digital. Um, and they should still get 80% because of their, up, their cost in distributing it, which literally is, hey, I'm going to put a bu push a button and upload it. Yeah, pretty much. It's like uploading the all of uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy to YouTube, you know? Right. And just collecting the ad revenue off of it. So Disney um, won because the judge was like, cause that's what Bill Nye argued. He's like, well, if it's, uh, you know, a, 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 an item like something that was manufactured, digital is not the same thing. And right. and there and the judge tried to say, well, yes, but it's considered like uh, it was how how they worded it, but it was like, but that could be argued that you know they have they have fees too, and they should be getting they shouldn't expect, be expected to take nothing. It's like poor Disney. I know, right? Oh. So and then also, I think I think this all comes down to is they don't want to. I think the judge and stuff don't want to side with Bill Nye, or that they don't want to side with Bill Nye because if they do, it's going to open the floodgates. For yeah. Netflix and you know Amazon and Disney and everybody else to be like everybody's gonna come after them for a bigger take because this is the standard yeah. contract. So let's let's talk about that before we get into it. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over one hundred and seventy-eight thousand subs. Thank you for the support. We do talk Ooh. about Disney. Uh, we have a lot of dismal Disney news. It seems like they're trying very very hard to hold on to as much money with Mickey's oversized glove as they can these mm -hmm. days as they're hemorrhaging money and uh, he's yeah. overcompensating for something yes so this is making the rounds yeah disney can keep up to 80 percent of streaming revenue by calling it home video this is going to change it has changed everything is going to streaming and we heard about before that a lot of uh, actors and writers in hollywood their deals are being altered because they're like well it's not going to the theater it's not going to tv mm -hmm. it's going to streaming so that's going to be how they're going to try to like get you you know, it's streaming, and it's the, streaming. The problem is when people signed these deals, they were signed, you know, decades ago yeah. when no one figured we were going to just be pushing a button and watching it on streaming, you know? Well, yeah, how could you have known back then? Because actually, in, you know, 1990s, the, you know, until we got to like 98, 99, the idea of watching video through the internet was unheard of because it would take you a freaking hour to download a photo. However, <laughs> however, back in the day on, on Spaceship Earth, when, when the good ending before they, they the good ending, it, you come down and you see people like they were like doing the thing where they were talking to a teacher in the screen oh, the and Skype. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then they had it on, on Horizons as well. So they kind of, they kind of predicted it. So Disney, Disney it could be argued news was going to happen and and screwed them over. No, I'm just kidding. But I guess the wording of the contract said video devices. The problem is that video devices implies that it has to be something that's in a device specifically where digital isn't actually a physical right. thing. So anyway, the judge agreed that, yes, you made a good argument, but, you know, hey, Disney still gets to keep all the money or 80% of the money. Yeah, so Bill Nye is not happy with that. I don't think he's coming back to any rides anytime soon. They he was in Ellen's Energy Adventure, right, right, and uh, you know they they shut that down and and uh, they're turning into the Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't think Bill Nye is getting a cameo on that ride. No, no. So he's now Bill Bill Nye the Angry Guy. Bill Nye the Angry and Guy. And he he didn't win. But like I said, I still think this is a matter of trying to keep the status quo as is, so these companies can keep more money. They need a precedent, right? So mm -hmm. if Bill Nye wins, and that opens a flood 
floodgates for everybody. I, I, I mean, yeah, exactly. And not just for Disney, for other like Netflix, oh, yeah. other companies too. Netflix, HBO Max, whatever deal they had, because streaming is usually sort of like a, you know, up until this point, up until the, to, to the point that, you know, we're at right now with the pandemic, streaming was sort of like, oh yeah, after it goes through traditional home video theaters, home video release, da, 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 then we dump it onto a streaming service. Now mm-hmm. streaming is front and center. Yep. It's the foremost way that Disney right now, the only reason they're making any money really is uh, streaming and merchandise. Now, I mean, if they were still putting out home videos of Bill Nye, which I don't think they are, um, that's different. They're still putting out, you know, physical you know media and they're creating it currently, then I think they could argue that a little bit better. But it is digital. He's not wrong. And yeah. it's just a matter, and, and and their costs, you know, behind that aren't that high. No, he, he's just being used as more fodder on the site, so that they can say they have, you know, a lot more content to try to, you know, up their numbers for investors. Hey, '90s kids, we've got Bill Nye. Uh, come on, Bill Nye's not getting paid. You know, how about the Dave Chappelle too? He had a problem with. Um, was it Netflix? I think it was it. No, it was I think it was Paramount. I think it was, uh, was CBS. It All I don't even know. Yeah, and they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Uh, they weren't paying him, so he was asking it to be taken down. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But yeah, there's a lot of shenanigans when it comes to streaming rights because again, you know, we're in kind of a uncharted mm-hmm. territory, and a lot of these these people signed deals way back when. And well, it, the, this is like one of many issues that Disney's in a lawsuit with right now. And beyond that, like we've had a lot of stuff come up, question that you mentioned, you know, just with streaming in general contracts mm-hmm. or, or they're, they're, people are demanding, agents are demanding contracts reflect that because, you know, it's not the same as it was, you know, yeah. 10 years ago, you know, five years ago even. So um, that was just interesting. But when we're talking about Disney and money, I just wanted to throw this other thing in here. So Disney, oh my gosh, guys, are you ready for this? Wait till you hear this deal. It's so amazing. Okay, so right now, at, at D- Disney California Adventure, you can go shopping on Buena Vista Street. Um, you don't have to pay admission because, you know, nothing's running. And it's just an extension of, they're calling it an extension of downtown Disney District, which is a shopping area. So you can go into the, to that area and shop and use the restaurants and shop there and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, so that Disney had more money since they can't run rides. Right. But that's going to end on March 14th because, hot damn, they got a deal for you. On uh, March 18th, you can go to this A Touch of Disney event for 75 bucks for the bargain price of $75. You can get to go shopping in the places you were getting to shop for free a few days prior. <laughs> so for $75, you get to park in the Mickey and Friends parking structure. Oh, okay. You get okay. unlimited photo pass downloads of what? Of characters and you standing there? Okay, great. With and on. and you get a $25 Touch of Disney dining card that you can use on your snack size tr- foods that you are gonna that will probably buy you two things so that you can, you know, try out the the, the, the snack size portions they're gonna have from different park things um at this event. And then you get to go shopping and the stores are already open, but the cup with a couple new ones open, like bing bongs and stuff. And and you get to see characters from a distance. And you get this all for 75 bucks. You know how we joked before we said Disney, the value is is no longer there, right? Going to these parks. And when they're desperate, they they bleed the park attendees. We have gotten to a point right now where you might as well just hand them your wallet and they give you absolutely nothing in return. You're literally paying 75 bucks for the privilege of buying more Disney merchandise. Right. They're going to give you a $25 gift card to make sure you buy more food, which will probably buy you a couple things and you have to pay the difference. Yeah. Because they're saying they're snack size things. They're, yeah, it's like so Epcot probably. Full size. Like a little, yeah. They're snack size things. That $25 is not going to go very far and they know it. So it, it's like, here's $25 to spend on stuff that we know you're going to spend way more on just so you don't, you, you don't feel like you're starving. And then you get to go buy more shit. Um, that's the deal. You give us $75 so you can come in and buy more stuff. And dumbasses are going to do it. Yeah, because they're, they're absolutely going to do it. They're letting them on the Pixar Pier to go to Bing Bongs to go to the sweet shops. So they're letting them walk to different locations, I think, um, that are close by. They're contained, but they can go a little bit further out than just um, Buena Vista Street. Hot damn, 75 bucks to literally get nothing but, you know, food you pay for and... Stuff you can buy with your own money. Oh, and if you're lucky, you, you can now book your reservation for Carthay Circle and the, the Lamplight Lounge. Um, so you can eat there and pay a bunch of money too. But you can only do that if you have the $75 ticket to get in there for the pay, pay a bunch more money to eat at those locations. And that 
$25 card wouldn't work on that. Yeah, both of those locations, by the way, are very expensive. Mm -hmm. um, this is all about, this is probably about them getting this, the desperate, desperate California Instagrammers to come in and be like, oh my God, we haven't even seen Pixar Pier in a year. And, and you'll have to pay it because they got rid of the annual passes in California. And they're considering a special ticket at a limited time. Oh, and they're going to make sure that it's limited crowds. This is Disney. This is their customers. Yeah. <laughs> Disney, their customers. Any questions? I'm just like... Uh, any questions? Uh, I'm just, you know what? Here's another question. Here, I have a question. How come they're saying that if you're a sad, if you're a sad person, you're automatically fat? And if you're a happy person, you're automatically skinny? Oh, Disney, you didn't think this through, did you? But but anyway, it's just funny. They're calling it Touch of Disney, and I call it out. I'm just like, wait, wait. I mean, yeah, you get the park included, and you get, you know, $25 cards. You can go spend, which they know you're going to spend more than $25. If you've been there, yeah. a little snack size something can run like $8, $9, you know? And people are going to oh, buy yeah. food. Yeah, yeah. and so they're going to take pictures of it, and they're going to be like, oh, my God, the magic's back, everybody. Yeah, and you get unlimited photo passes to take pictures of yourself, you know, with characters in distance waving at you. What a racket. I'm just like, well, they got to pay for those, you know, per in you know, incentive bonuses for the executives. The $11 million. The, the, per, the uh, what they call that, the uh, performance incentives or yeah. whatever. So I'm sure whoever came up with this idea is going to get a big bonus. I'm sure they will. Uh, you know who's not getting a bonus is Bill Nye. You know what he would like a touch of Disney? He'd like a touch of Disney in his bank account. I'm sure he has like. a lot of money. I'm account. sure Bill Nye's well off, but you know what? You can never have too much money. I mean, what, <laughs> I, I can see where he's coming from, but I also see that there, I know what this is about. This is not even about him. It's about precedent. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. Yeah, if you make Bill Nye happy, you make everybody else in Hollywood very unhappy because they're going to have to pay a lot more money for mm -hmm. everything. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. I guess we're going to go book ourselves a trip to... No. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. I mean, I would not recommend booking yourself a trip to Disneyland right now because, you know, for that $75, you get to shop. You don't get to go ride rides or do anything cool. Did you get a vaccine for that? I don't know. Doing... They were doing vaccines over there. Yeah, they were doing vaccines. So it's not they're... included in the write-up, so I okay. say no. Because Disney, you know what they'll do. They'll start, they'll start charging... They can't charge you for the vaccine, so they'll charge you for the Mickey Mouse Band-Aid. The designer Band-Aids well, are going to put on. Probably, but I was like, they're probably getting you in here so they can walk you past like the new Avengers campus and stuff, so they can get you try to get you excited so that you want to, you know, book it right then so that you can get in there first. We're trying to build up excitement. We haven't had any Instagrammers in there enough for a while, so now, like you said, we got to get the Instagrammers yeah, in there, yep. get pictures of the Avengers campus in the background. Oh, guys, it's going to be great. Whenever we open, it's going to be great. Bring mm -hmm. your money, get your money, right. save your pennies. Save your pennies. We know you're you're gonna give us money regardless of how poorly we treat you. But you can go down Buena Vista Street until the 14th for free. So, <laughs> right. So you wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.